Hello ladies and gentlemen and all the children who have been watching my videos. Thank you for sharing and subscribing. I hope you have been inspired with our previous topic, taking charge of your attitude. Today's topic is bagging your bad attitude. That is identifying through self-awareness the attitude that holds you back or propel you forward. We are going to learn how to transform turning points into learning points. Bad attitudes are heavy baggage. It is not always easy to determine why other people have bad attitudes, but it is certainly easy to pick them out of a crowd. It is relatively easy to spot someone with a bad attitude, unless of course that someone is you. If you haven't been getting what you want out of life, if you feel stuck, overlooked, unappreciated, unfulfilled it could be that you've picked up an attitude that is holding you back you might not see it in yourself but you may have noticed that people around you respond differently to you if your relationship with bosses co-workers or employers have changed for the worse maybe it's you a good attitude begins with self-awareness the ability to recognize our feelings as they come over us is called self-awareness. And it is critical to our development in a highly mobile, fast-changing and complex society. Self-awareness allows you to be aware of your emotions and attitudes. Knowing yourself and understanding what drives your attitude and emotions is the first step to self-knowledge and self-control. If you remember the experiences that trigger a bad or self-destructive attitude, you can then work to disarm those triggers and even replace the bad emotions with more constructive and empowering emotions to create a better attitude. We are not permanently burdened with the baggage of our past. We can leave that luggage behind, sad times, the loneliness, the broken heart, rejection, fear. You don't need that emotional baggage. It can only mess your attitude and your life. I'm going to talk to you about the root causes of a bad attitude. One of them is low self-esteem, stress. We have fear and fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear, false evidence appearing real. Then we have resentment and anger. We have inability to handle changes. Ladies and gentlemen, children, one of the most important steps you can take towards achieving your greatest potential in life is to learn to monitor your attitude and its impact on your work performance, on your relationships, and on everyone around you. If you would like to continue this talk, Please leave your comments and I will surely respond to you online. And do not hesitate to contact me on the email and social media handles shown below your screen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host Frankie Giver on the Know Thyself Show on Inspire You TV Channel 5 UK. Thank you so much for listening. Keep watching, keep listening, subscribe and share these videos. You never know who is going to help.